So this is how you install the tow hooks on the 07 to 2014 Sierras and Silverados. So if you're poor like me and you got the poor man's work truck, you don't have tow hooks. So first, make sure you got a bumper with the tow hook hole. So then you get yourself some tow hooks. You can order these online or you can go to the junkyard. I went to the junkyard because I'm cheap. So I got these off of a SUV. It was a Tahoe or a Yukon, not sure. The bolt holes are the same and the hardware is the same, but you can see the shape is completely different. The SUV ones won't go out of the bumper for the trucks. They sit kind of flush and they don't work. So then you got to go back to the junkyard and you got to find a Silverado or a Sierra. So then you get to these guys. All right, take a tow hook, pull the bolts out, slide her through the plastic into the frame rail. Then you take your short bolt and that goes in the rear hole. Take your long bolt, and that goes in the front hole. Take your nut, that goes on the front bolt. Then you take your 18 millimeter wrench and you tighten the two bolts. Do you really need me to show you how to tighten a bolt? Righty tighty, lefty loosey. My grandpa taught me how to put a bolt in when I was six. All right, onto the passenger side, same thing. So these tow hooks are not left and right for the vehicle. They are only one design. They both bolt in the same way on both sides. Imagine that GM actually did something kind of smart for one so you don't have to get a left and a right. You just get two of whatever side. Then you try to stick a bolt in one-handed because you gotta film this for people. Just like the other side, bolt goes through the front hole. Nut goes on the bolt. Short bolt goes in the rear hole. And tighten everything down. So that's it. Now you got some tow hooks. You look a little bit less poor. And next time your buddy gets his truck stuck in the mud doing stupid stuff, he's going to call you so you can come try to pull them out and rip your bumper off in the process.